another Samurai Jack episode over and done with. And this episode was pretty much just a lot of comedy in it. While the last episode was uh, pretty much all action, this one was pretty much just mostly comedy. Except for a few parts, but it, it was just mostly for laughs. So, it started off with Ashi in his, on his little airship wondering where Jack is, and then suddenly these two guys from a past episode from the old series went and show up, and they think that she's still with Haku, and they try to attack her, but then she goes and dodges it, and she says, No, I'm with Jack. So, she tries to go around and ask where Jack is, and then uh, she gets a few clues about on where they are, and uh, among the way, she gets, they tell her about how they saved her and stuff. For like the first guys, they, they told her how they used to be slaves and, and how they had to go and work for a coup, but even though they didn't like it. And it's in the kind of the old style, or at least in his old clothes, but, but with a new art style. Because with that, it looks really weird. I was just like, jeez. That doesn't match it at all. It is different, but it, just, it was really strange looking. But after that, we all, we get this uh, little scene where uh, the, the robot from the first episode wakes up. I didn't think he was going to return. I thought he was dead, but no, he came back. When he was waking up, I thought something was wrong with my TV or they switched to the commercial. I'm like, what's happening? I, I'm going to miss the show. But no, they switched back to the robot. He's like, hey, you do? do? I'm okay! And he's just hopping around on his head and he's traveling back trying to go, go and tell Aku that his, uh, that Jack Sword is gone because his phone's busted. So he's hopping around on his head trying to go and get to Aku. So we don't have to worry yet because he's just hopping around on his head. So it's going to take a while. So uh, Ashi gets to another place where p these people who are friends of Jack and they tell her how they saved him, and once again, from a past episode, and this one I remembered. I, I didn't remember the other one that much, but this one I did remember, so it's nice getting all these callbacks from the past episodes. You wouldn't think that would happen, but it does. They're really doing it, so it, that's really cool. So after that, we go back to the robot, and we get some really funny scenes here where he's trying to get on this boat, but he just keeps getting into all these obstacles because there was a sign that said no shoes, no shirts, no heads, or no bodies. So he's just trying to go and get his body like being on a dog and being on another person and all that and all of them fail until eventually he does get on. It, it was, that stuff was pretty funny. I, I like that. And when he does get on, the guy takes it off and he has this very concerning looking head that's shaped like a a penis. <laughs> I was like, at first I thought it was just some, just uh, they didn't mean to, it just somehow turned it out that way, but nope, at, a few minutes after that he goes like, what a freak, he looked like a penis. I'm like, they didn't just say that. They just said penis on Samurai Jack. I mean, out of all the cartoons I've ever watched, really the only times I've ever heard that, I think, are Family Guy and, and South Park. Maybe a few more, but not a lot. So to hear it on Samurai Jack, it was just shocking. I was like, did they really just say that? Or are my ears not working? Just, it was so weird. So but we get back to Ashi where she she looks into this uh, little pond and she has this flashback to her childhood where her mother throws her in this hot coal and she's screaming. I'm like, jeez, holy crap. That, that was pretty intense actually and she was naked. I mean, they didn't show anything of course, but Jesus Christ, that was intense. So after that, she jumps into the pond and she starts to go and get this rock and scrape it herself, and I'm like, what's she doing? But she was going and scraping up the black stuff that was on her. I, I thought she was wearing a suit the whole time, but no, it, it was makeup or something, so... I don't know, was it supposed to be burnt skin? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> but, oh, wow. So she t takes it all off, and then she's naked, but they don't really show that much. 
sadly. And then um, she goes and puts on all these leaves, and she looks like Saria from The Legend of Zelda, Alarinka Time. She pretty much has the exact same outfit almost, but her hair is black. That was the first thing I thought when I saw her. I was like, hey, that's Saria. So she, she goes around and tries to look for Jack and and, and all that. And th then we go and, and back to the the robot where he's on, this, on the boat and trying to call Aku, but all the people on there are way too loud. And when, when it does, I think I saw the dog from the Jetsons. Uh, I don't remember his name, uh, but um, I'm pretty sure I saw him. He he had the exact same head, the exact same color. I'm pretty sure it was the dog from the Jetsons, and and I'm pretty sure Samurai Jack was originally made by Hanna Barbera, so that would make sense. And then they do this again later, where Ashi goes into this bar where all these bad guys are, and they tell her tell her um how they met, went and messed up their life. And I think that they showed Pai Pai, because he had, he had the exact same accent. He was like, oh, look what they did to my eye. Oh. So, just a lot of really good just throwbacks to all these old shows and old episodes. And then we also get this um, one samurai from an old episode who goes and says, oh, I kicked ass, or something like that. I'm like, now they said ass? I mean, they go all these episodes without saying any curse words, and now they're throwing all this stuff at us, like, th did they just hold it off for, for this episode? <laughs> so, eventually, um, Ashi goes and, and finds Jack, and she, he's in this graveyard about to go and commit Japanese suicide, I'm like, because he has his sword right there, and he's just like, Jack, no! But then the, the horseman from the other episode shows up, and he's like, no, this has to be done. So, Ashi tries to go and explain to him he doesn't have to do this, and she and the swordsman fight, and then uh, she eventually goes and convinces him not to do it, and she, he goes and destroys the, the horse, horseman and all the other guys who are with him. So after that, he's like, I like your hair. And your dress. It's just <laughs> really good humor in this. So Ashi then asks, what are they going to do now? And then Jack goes like, we got to find my sword. And I'm like, yes, finally. We're going to find a sword. We have, I've been waiting for this. Finally. So just just that line alone just put a big smile on my face. I'm like, oh, that, that was great. That, that line alone was just really badass. So that was this episode. And I don't think it was my favorite. It was probably near the bottom so far. But it, it was still really funny. It, it was just pretty much a, a light episode after all the action we had had last time, so that's kind of what they're doing this time around. They have probably about two dark episodes, a light episode. Two dark episodes, a light episode. Just just to go and let us chill out a little. So, next, the next episode is probably going to be dark, then maybe another dark one, possibly then a light one, and then the big grand, grand final. So, and, and uh, Avatar actually did that too, so th they might do that. So, it was a really good episode. I enjoyed it. Not one of my favorite, but for the humor, I think this beats the one when they were in the stomach. This one just had really good moments with Ashi and just going and putting on those leaves and the robots, who was definitely the funniest at all. Just And of course, all the throwbacks. That was really good too. So, enjoyable episode.